How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to the brand new Rise of Slime. I'm pretty sure this game is by a solo dev. It's kind of a Slay the Spire like, but they kind of gave it more of this adventure game feel. You walk around as this cute little slime. Just a note that the game is in early access still, so it's something to be aware of while, while you're seeing what's presented. It's a very playable game, but it's uh, still being iterated on and improved on and worked, worked at. Oh, good. You are conscious. Welcome to the void, friend. This is the place where your past does not matter and your future does not yet exist. It's like regular futures. We've chosen you as our hero for a glorious task. The keeper of a castle has lost vitality and monsters are running berserk. We shall grant you a new life and the class of an adventurer, so you're able to evolve. Go, do good deeds and make the land free, and then make it bow before you. Go now. It's the rise. The rise of the slime. So there's the three different decks that you can choose from. It is a deck building game like Slay the Spire. Uh, right now, you can only start with the regular deck. It's very standard. Honestly, it's kind of uh, slow almost. The beginning deck is so vanilla. <laughs> I, I've played a little bit of the game. I, I had started another save file and did just the tiniest, tiniest bit of the game. Your road begins entering the caves. You can see that you're, you're progressing along this line here with a few little deviations where you get to choose where you want to go to. Uh, it's It's got this cool like diorama feel to it or like some sort of little cardboard cutout play is going on or something like that. You can interact with these worlds that you're moving around and sometimes like there I just was able to pick up and shatter a little pot on the ground. And here we have our first little bit of combat. Pretty standard stuff. You have the, the mana on the side representing your actions. You have like a draw pile, a discard pile, uh, gold, a number of cards in your deck. This is a little bit different. After battles, you can set up camp in the little area that you're in to recover, but I only have one campground, so I want to be like choosy about where I actually use that. Uh, you can still see enemy intents. It's a little less clear, it doesn't tell you the precise damage like Slay the Spire does, but we do know that right now he's in offensive mode, he only has one MP, so he can probably only play like one attack. Uh, so I'll throw up a shield, I'm not going to kill him this turn anyways, so if I throw up a shield, hopefully that uh, protects me. Another thing I should point out that you'll notice and that he just kind of demonstrated is movement in the game. Every single turn, You'll draw this card. It's not a part of your deck. You just always get it. You always draw an end turn and you always draw a quick step. And it lets you move around in the playing field. Uh, not strictly important right now, but hopefully we'll come across a few examples that kind of highlight why or where that would be useful. At the end, you get a little card pack that you get to drag open, discard, deal two damage, and draw or defense times two. It's not really that useful because I don't have many cards that are anything more than just adding to defense. I'll try the strike, strike draw. Moving around the battlefield is a pretty interesting mechanic though. It can help with putting distance between you and a specific enemy. For example, I can't attack enemies in the back without a ranged weapon like a dagger throw my regular slime, which I'm just realizing he, he's starting with a crown. It's very presumptuous that his his quest for the top will succeed. This is two times two, but you only get to use it once in a given battle. He's very confident that he's going to make it to the top, though, isn't he? Oh, I probably should have drawn cards since defending's not necessary. Neither of them are attacking right now. Uh, I, I can, I can kind of dance around these guys. I could walk past one of them. Then they're surrounding me a little bit. Uh, but it would give me access to attacking the guy in the back. Sometimes there will be status effects laid on the ground. He's buffing himself up. Sometimes they'll use things like uh, fire on the ground. And if you stand there specifically, you'll burn. So you can, you can use um, an action to move away from that. Oh, he's using pretty heavy defenses. I'm, I'm probably not going to be able... I'm not going to be able to blast through it. But I kind of have to commit... A little bit. I have to try and finish him off. This is where the starting deck is pretty slow going. I need to start finding more interesting cards. I don't really have ways to buff myself or debuff others. I just have attacks and defenses. 
So for these first few battles, it's a bit of a grind, especially when someone has like 30 health. Uh, oh, it's it's just letting me know. You can check. He's applied strength to himself, so now his damage has been raised by the one, the one that is just represented by that strength there. Quick attack. He's getting ready to defend, not attack, so I'll, I'll, I'll commit to the offense. I don't actually need to move closer to him, but I will just, I guess, to show. You can see these little pink marks on the ground delineating where I can move to, so I can, I can walk up to there. At this point in this particular battle, that doesn't matter at all. That just is an option. Now it's just kind of a grind of, I'll try and defend against some of the damage he's doing, but mostly, mostly I should probably just commit to trying to output damage and kill this thing. Oh, you can see from uh, defeating that first enemy, we can see now what my combat loot is. He dropped a card pack, and so we, we know that we'll have a card pack to access after this. This very slow little back and forth ballet of chipping away at his health with such tiny amounts of damage. That's... <laughs> that sucks. He defended me just enough that he has one health left. Just waiting it out. Just a little bit longer. I will say that the game as a whole feels slow. I played for about 20 or 30 minutes before and made it to like a boss battle type scenario. And then things were starting to get more interesting, but it takes a while to build up to that point in this game. Tower shield, 10 defense and 1 strength. It costs 2 mana, but uh, strength like sticks around. It doesn't seem to wear off, so having something that can boost strength is very useful. Wow! I, I have no way of gaining an extra mana, but that's a big finishing blow. On discard, adds random corrupt card to player decked. Deck, deck. That sounds terrible. Oh, but you can't play it. I think it would discard automatically just at the end of the turn. But yeah, I also want the strength buff, because I want ways to deal more damage in a scenario where a battle is going to go on that long. You can see kind of how I'm progressing along the bottom here. There's uh, different ways of representing the rooms. Ones that are like neutral rooms and shops and battle rooms and, and things like that. We have a little, what is this? Lifesteal. That's, I guess, his attack? That's like what he's doing? I thought for a second that was uh, what he was called. That he was a lifesteal. <laughs> I'm going to use the tower shield because I want the strength boost. And you can see all these that were doing three before are now up to four, which just, even just one strength makes a huge difference when all you're dealing is three damage at a time. But you get like two, three strength and all of a sudden your deck is actually like useful. It starts very weak. Very, very weak. I'm going to do a strike that also allows me to draw. That was like very specifically what I was hoping I would draw. Now you see that the Rusty Sword has jumped up to five. So I'm starting to build that up a little bit. Maybe I should have defended. I guess we'll see how much damage this guy actually can do. Deal three damage and adds that back to his health. So the more I can probably defend his life stealing, the better. Seeing as I I'm just helping him out. This one does two damage twice, but it also ignores strength. It's like one of its little, I don't know, abilities or add-ons or whatever, which is a little bit useless for me. I didn't realize that this didn't discard or like remove itself from the deck. The strength, the strength, the flexing guy that I have removes itself after one use. So that's like repeatedly useful. I can, I'm so glad I took that card now because I can jack my strength up. So much more than I ha had previously. That's going to be very satisfying. To actually have cards that feel like they do damage. Strength doesn't discard either. I was very wrong about that. Okay, so now these things suddenly are dealing like meaningful amounts of damage. Not quite enough to finish them off. I don't know why I thought regular strength discarded itself. That was just uh, a wrong assessment. I'll have to think about camping soon. I'm going to try to avoid it as much as possible. I'd rather rather carry on and save it for like a, a absolutely dire situation. And dagger fans throw three daggers, three times two damage to a creature 
and draw and draw a card. Uh, that one we've seen that just a minute ago. But this is an upgraded shield, so it adds four defense. I'll do the the dagger fan. I'm a I'm a fan of that. And this should be another combat before moving on to like a shop. There it looks like. Oh, he got the he got the advantage on this one. He got to go first. I don't know if that comes down to like an unseen strength stat or something. Buff Goblin. See there, I feel like that's his name. So maybe that other thing is called Lifesteal. That's his that's his name. That's what he is. It looks like he's committing to the offense. So I'll I'll chuck a couple defenses up there. I don't really like playing the card for end turn. I wish there was just a single button to click. Uh there's something about that one last step of making that motion that feels weird. I like the effort was made to distinguish it um, from Slay the Spire with that. I'm, I'm going to play both of the strength add-ons. I was thinking about maybe playing strength and then dagger fan. I'd rather jack up my strength while I, while I have the chance, so I'm going to focus on that just a little bit. I guess, I guess I play one shield. I don't leave myself totally exposed, seeing as it looks like he's going offensive. I'm offended by this choice. One times two is just the one. He only hit my shields. Very simple, very easy to handle. See, I, I guess I only have two attacks to play right now anyways. No, but that's that much closer he'll be to being finished off. Like, he's not planning to attack me, so I'm not really concerned about defending. Uh, I'd rather... I think I might as well just go for the out damage output on that one, because the battle's getting closer to being finished. I may come to regret that shortly. I got the regular strength back in hand, so I'm going to play that. And then three times five? Oh yeah, that's going to be major. That's suddenly, like, the best thing in my deck if I manage to build up a few strengths. And our thing here, heal. Heals player for three, remove from combat deck. Impale, two times four. And slash, which is basically just if you ever upgrade Rusty Sword, it becomes a slash. It's four damage now. The two times four is pretty good. An excuse to heal once per combat, though. That seems like it could make a, a pretty massive difference long term. I don't have that much health, so little heals here and there. Uh, the shopkeeper now. Fire Parasite on discard duplicate fire stack when discarded. So that would be against me? Why would I ever buy that? Why would I want that? Fire stack is basically like burn. Small shield, it costs nothing, but it adds one defense. D discard one and then draw one. I can't even I can't even afford it. Removing a card is probably slightly more valuable than upgrading one at the moment. I... What do I feel like I... I don't defend that often. Maybe I should. <laughs> but I'm not... Not overly concerned with it. Oh, okay. It's it's removing whatever one's lined up in that in that slot there. Unlike Slay the Spire, you can, you can remove multiple per, like round uh but they just it's expensive to do so i already have one out of one camping supplies i assume i can't afford any of this costs 150 but it raises it to six healing which is pretty good that goes to four times two damage these just get raised up to four uh you can see the rusty sword becomes a slash and I, you can't upgrade the slash. It's already it's already been upgraded. They all cost 150, so I, I wouldn't be able to do any of it. I can I can move on from there. Gardening. This is kind of like a goofy little thing. Sometimes you just come across spe specific rooms that just have little extras for you, and it's worth doing. The gold is pretty light. It's not like a major amount of gold, but it, it could make the difference when you're like 20 away from paying for uh, an upgrade. And sometimes you yank up that one of those little heart things too. So that's, that's nice to have. I'm going to heal right up at the top here, right? Just kind of get that out of the way so I don't have to do it during some dire part of the battle or something. He looks like he's getting ready to attack, so I'm going to defend. I'm, I'm not going to go too heavily on the offense until I draw some of my strength building cards. 
since this guy's got 70 health, it's not gonna matter much for me anyways. And we got this little fire dude running around who's probably gonna try and burn the ground I'm on. Oh, he's got a hefty shield 5+. plus. That's brutal for me. Sometimes I don't understand when they're on, like, offensive and they use a shield. It doesn't seem to fully communicate exactly what's going on. He's an orc grunt? What are the big orcs like then? That is that guy not, like, the, the guy? You know? I, I'm not, ex like, an orc boss or orc king or something. That guy seems pretty full-on already. I'm a little wary of this little dude. That he's gonna <laughs> set the whole place on fire and then I'll be totally boned this so this is probably more of like a mini boss battle or something it's it's like a little bit more advanced dangerous uh, burn he's throwing my way so now I have I have the little fire applied and you can see there's like that molten uh, effect on the ground there so I don't want to totally back myself into a corner. What I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to swap spots with this little guy. So he's standing in the fire. They probably both could have attacked me on like this next turn anyways. So I'm going to check the shield on myself. Oh, right. And I already had done the movement. I was doing that for the strength uh, addition. There was two, the two fire damage applied itself. Uh, luckily, I had that. Rage smash does two damage but raises this guy's strength. So he's just going to keep getting stronger over time. This guy's just going to hunker himself down on a this burning spot here. He didn't choose to move off of that or anything. I feel like he's kind of... The computer's telling him he's in an ideal spot. There's no reason for him to move one further away. Maybe he has to be adjacent to land some of his attacks. That's like... That is required for certain cards and certain attacks. And now I can do three times five here. Slowly chipping away at this guy. He has no defense there. So at the end of this turn, he should take uh, two more damage there. So positioning him in the fire is quite useful. I kind of... Oh, there. Now he's now he's burning the next thing, too. All right, I'll swap spots with the big guy. And he's... The, the fire is stacking up as well. Now it's now it's four that he's he's got stuck working against him. I'm, I'm going to move out of the way. You guys can both just chill out in the fire. I'm okay with that. Uh, I'm gonna go one further away just cuz no 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 I do want to be here because it gives this guy a reason to stay standing in that fire if I move away then he might come walking over to me you know I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the strength raise so I'm really building that up really heavily here uh, I this guy is probably gonna end the turn standing in the fire uh, he's raising his strength more though too and this guy will just die after whatever he does, it doesn't really matter what he does this turn. Okay, that was the one thing. That was the one thing he could have done. <laughs> so he sure fooled me. I am I'm thinking through my options here. This two wouldn't be enough. He has five. It wouldn't it, it would do four. So it wouldn't be quite enough. Uh, I was trying to see if there was a way I could raise strength and dagger fan. The big boss man. I think I'm better off finishing that guy off. Just have him off my plate, and I'll raise strength and I'll I'll and I'll lightning this guy. Sure, the lightning only you only get it once, anyways. It's like gone from my deck now. I might as well just use it and exhaust that card. I'm using the slay the spire terminology. I don't know if exhaust is specifically what is used in this game. Uh, it's just what I'm mo more familiar with. If I can just keep this guy standing in the fire, that's going to be very long-term beneficial for me. All right, I probably got to stop doing that. But now, now my individual dinky little attacks are suddenly strong. <laughs> like six strength is a pretty big bonus to have. But this guy's he's jacking up his own strength as well here, so I, I am a little bit concerned about it. He's also too dumb. Too dumb, I think, to walk out of the uh, the fire that he's just standing directly in, so I'm just going to allow him to keep doing that. Suddenly I do 10 damage even on my regular regular little strikes. The the slime has risen, I, I would say. <laughs> so I, I've, I've probably got this one this one covered. Uh, dagger fan, 3 times 9, that wouldn't quite do it, but I can, I can chip away with that. Boom! Took out the big guy here. 
And I got, you get like a specialty cards for this one. So that, that was like the fire deck. Burning Rage, if on fire, plus two strength. If stack bigger than 10, plus four strength. That's so much fire. You would be d dead in a couple turns if you had that much fire against you. That seems terrible. Share fire, if on fire, add two fire to all enemies. That one's pretty cool, but fire would have to come up pretty often. And discard slash, deal two damage to a creature, and discard one card. Doesn't seem overly useful. I don't really want share fire. I don't really want to be on fire ever, so I'm going to skip those ones. There was nothing there that I could really that I really wanted. On discard, heal two. Unplayable, so I'd have to have a way of discarding it. Same as this one. On discard, add random corrupted card. I don't have a way to discard cards. Duplicate, duplicate card. That has potential. That could be something. I don't want to go walk in that fire. I'll just scoop up my winnings here. And that's about as far as I made it in the game previously. I, I took on that little boss battle. What did I make this out of health-wise? Uh, I, I can't see right on me here. It, it was in like the 20 range or something. There we go. Full health. Glad I didn't end up using a camp. A little turnip stashed in this room as well. I, and I don't fully know what all of the little, like these little circle ones. That's like an event room or something. Just blowing up the column. Looks like a pretty standard enemy. Is he going to run, though? Is he going to run one room back? Oh, he's totally fleeing. So he's running towards what's probably going to be a tougher battle. Oh, God. Okay, there's, like, action sequences and stuff. Like, not quick time events are the wrong term, but there's, like, a little... I actually have to navigate this little collapsing cavern and stuff. Damn it. I thought, uh, I thought maybe that would have already dropped. I think two were dropping in the same spot. Ooh, ooh, okay. I'm, I'm trying to be quicker because I was taking me forever. He's just whistling his way through it. He's in, he's in a great mood. Crack, crack that open for a little bit of gold. And now we can fight. Now, now I can, uh, turn my attention. Sorry, I was busy with that little bomber. I think I will heal. Why not? And I'll do, and I'll do a quick shield. Same as kind of before, unless I have a way to specifically raise strength right away. Doing those three damage things sucks. Deal five damage at the end of this turn. How do I get out of that? On the tile they're standing on. Okay, 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 so I have to move. These guys are going to keep me moving a lot. So we're seeing, like, the increased importance value of moving. I wish there was some way I could have forced him to go stand on his own bomb. That would have felt very satisfying to me. I, that would have been great. Uh, but that's... Now Now we're seeing examples of, like, certain rooms that require running around. Oh, shit, they, were, they blew up and now they're burning. So maybe burning is going to come up more, more frequently than I would like. Uh, maybe I should have taken some of those, like, share burn cards or, or, or things like that. But yeah, all the the fighting multiple enemies. I guess that's in Slay the Spire too. But moving around and and the the like live actionness of it is all very interesting. I don't think I want to duplicate this because I I don't know if it's only a temporary duplicate 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 or if it uh, would is, is like permanently in my deck for this combat. In that case, I would rather duplicate a strength. Because having two of the tower shields could be useful, but I don't really want that. Oh, shit, he's doing the bomb, too. Ten damage on this one space. All right, well, this is going to be super fun, then, because I'm swapping spaces with this guy, obviously. Obviously. This is a genius move that I'm about to pull. I accept. <laughs> that is that is where I would like to stay. Yes, I, I feel committed to that. That feels like a good move. Boom! Suck on it! And he, he's lit on fire. It, it did that immediate damage, and the dude's lit on fire, so he's not in good shape at all. But he will defend, probably, yes? Ah, oh, that's gonna barely save him. It's gonna barely save him there. I wish. I wish. That was very close. So I should be able to take him out, like, no problem. And... I might... 
I have three I have three strength applied already. I'm just gonna start committing to damage outputs on this guy and try to try to put an end to it sooner than later. Three is decent decent for this game. I don't think these burning squares ever go away. You must have to have a card that would specifically change that in some way. I am going to move because I don't want to be there. I'm hoping that doesn't burn me as long as I don't end I, as long as you don't end your movement there, you're good. I do want to try and play this strictly to see duplicate. They both get added to your deck right away and presumably it sticks around for the entirety of the combat at that point. That's my that's my guess. And so if that's the case, uh, duplicating the tower shield wouldn't have necessarily been the worst move, because then I would have two of those in my deck. It's valuable defense, it adds strength, but it also costs two every time. So there's there's obviously that trade-off there. I'm just gonna put a quick end to all that. Ah, nice. Regular regular old enemies just drop health for you sometimes. Ah, oh, you got multiple things. There's another combat in this room? If I would have moved far enough to the right to avoid all the bombs those guys were dropping, I bet I would have eventually like bumped up against this guy and he would have joined the combat. That's pretty cool too that like, I don't know, there's, there's encouragements to explore the room, move around the room, avoid the damage, but you might like fold in something else and make the, the battle a little more complicated. Oh, this Gobbo. He's got two MP. He can do a little bit more. Uh, but this counts as a new battle. So that means I'm allowed to... to I, I have my heal back. It's not, like, spent because I've used it in this room. That's interesting. That That's cool that I was able to use that twice in this one room, then. I'll go with the Impale. Sure. Seems like an excuse to do bigger damage. Spatial Rifts. Look at all the stuff that's like floating out of me there. Walk up to one of the Spatial Rifts and click to enter the Rift to choose one of the paths available to you. A moment to choose different paths. Uh, do I want to go to a shopkeeper or do I want to go to like a battle? Well, now that I was able to just rake in all of the money, 200 was what I gained out of the entirety of the chest. That wasn't like one coin was worth 200. I'm gonna enter this rift. It's either like a shop or like a special battle. Look like they were my options. I don't. I'd rather sell some cards, upgrade some cards. Maybe maybe he'll have something worth buying. It just seemed like a battle wasn't necessarily the best thing. That's way too expensive for what that actually gets you. Uh, a one-time zero cost for defense shield is kind of kind of neat. I don't think it's that interesting, really. I'm going to toss out one rusty sword. It seems like each purchase at this vendor costs more. So it's like that first thing costs 150, the second th or the cost 100, the second thing now will cost 150 regardless of if it's a, a removal or an upgrade. I'm going to take I'm going to take the upgrade for the six heal at a time. That seems pretty good. Adding four defense decent. Having one more slash in the deck, maybe. Ah, it's getting a little bit more in the damage outputs. I'm noticing that my fan dagger and, and things like that aren't... Oh, it is 150 for each of these. Okay, it didn't, it didn't go up. Um, I'm noticing I can't upgrade all of my cards. Not, not everything has available upgrades. That's something for me to keep in mind. This guy's got a cool, cool do-rag. The Goblin Protector. Oh god, the amount of defense he's throwing up is crazy. And then there's also this life-stealing guy behind him. So that's kind of worrisome, actually. Three times three, that's just... That's just nothing. It's not even gonna puncture his defense at all. Draw strength, please? Ah. Shit. Okay, but that's my defense plus at the very least. Because it looks like this guy's getting ready to attack. I was hoping I could just commit a turn or two. Just strength, 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 strength. He's got chains on him. I don't really know what they're for. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Try to pay attention to... Uh, maybe that means he can only attack in melee? Or maybe he can't be moved? Maybe I can't, I can't like, walk past him. It's probably something like that. That probably... Like, when I think about it, that makes more sense. 
I could continually duplicate this to keep it around, to keep it in my deck. I don't think I will. <laughs> it's not that good of a card since it's not affected by strength at all, so I think I might as well just let it pass. If this guy life steals, oh, he has the same thing. Huge strength and def uh, strength upgrade. If it doesn't penetrate my defense, I'm probably safe. He still gained three. It ignored my defense. Oh God. Okay, that suddenly becomes a lot more worrisome. Can I? I can't reach past him. I'm fairly confident what's happening here is I can't move him, but will will like confirm that. Yeah, this guy, he can't be moved. That's what his, like, chains are. So that kind of... That kind of sucks. Wish I'd used a better, different card in that scenario. But we had to know. I feel like that's worth confirming. Even though it made enough sense that it was, like, all but guaranteed to be the actual case. Chill out there, man. I'm not... I'm not liking the amount of damage this guy's able to throw at me. I'm probably better off with the three times five than I am bothering tower shielding this particular turn. I'll throw up one shield. S just seeing how much defense this guy throws up on a regular basis. Like he's going to do it again now, tower shield probably. If I can do any damage, I should probably take the opportunities when they're presented to me. You son of a bitch though. It's really, real big piss off that this guy's just back there, pointing and laughing at me, scooping up my health, stealing it right from under me. I'm going to duplicate that strength. I'm going to lift some weights, pump the guns up a little bit here. The, I, I just would like to end this battle quickly. This guy's dealing a lot of damage, and this thing's good at keeping itself alive. So I, if, if I can, like, pump up the strength and maybe finish this guy this turn, that would be ideal. This is exactly what I wanted. Three times seven. Two times nine. Either one would do it. Either one would do it, actually. Ooh, that one I think had range. I maybe, I actually probably could have thrown it, like, past the guy and, and hit him instead. I think, I think that's what it was showing me there, but I, I didn't even attempt it. So I guess if I had more ranged weapons, that this would be less of a thing. It's very irritating. He hasn't even been damaged yet. You don't even need all this health. Quit being such a jerk. You don't need it. I need it more than you do. Stealing it away like that over and over. What a jerk. So selfish. <laughs> Scooping it all up for himself. Shouldn't matter. Even just like one singular strike should be able to do this guy in at this point. Aw, uh, and I like doing the dagger fan finish in those scenarios where someone was giving me grief. It makes it a lot easier for myself. Second tower shield? Maybe? Ah, uh, yes. Having... There's not many different buffs I seem to be able to grant myself. Strength is like one of the only ones, so I think I should take the opportunity when it's there. Look at this guy's little mustache. Goblin card parasite. Oh, he's going to try and plant things into my deck that I'm not going to like. I can totally go after this guy. Can lightning? Lightning can hit anyone as well. Well, I'm going to try and dagger fan this guy. If I can kill him... Before carving through 35 plus health, depending on defenses and stuff, then I'm going to take that opportunity because, like, I don't like this. I don't like the sounds of this parasite giver or whatever. Bad deck. Well, we might finally find out what that's all about. It might, it may have got, like, shuffled to the bottom of the deck. Oh, I got a plan here. Glad I upgraded that, actually, because now, now it's an upgraded form of it that I get multiple of. Maybe I just opened myself up to so much attacks, I'm going to immediately realize that healing 6 health that turn maybe doesn't really matter. But I healed 6 health that turn, and can maybe heal 6 health another turn. I don't know, maybe that was a dumb play. 
Unplayable on discard deal three damage to players. Shit. That sucks. Does this have range? No, 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 not that. I meant to pick up Impale. It doesn't. It doesn't. Protect myself. Presumably because this won't ignore shield. I'm, I'm hopeful that that's the case. Doesn't ignore a shield. Okay, so defending myself is the way to go in, in that particular scenario. This guy knows what's up. Tower shields. He's got the same basic idea there. Oh, I can grab that pot. <laughs> Just because. Maybe it has health in it or something. Dang. If that would have had health, that would have been a fun little, like, grab. Fumble. Takes away hand space. It's literally just there to get in the way. Sweet. Thanks for that one. That's just, that's just absolutely wonderful. Hmm. Shit. I guess I'll slash at him. It doesn't matter. He's, he's got all that strength. All that, uh, defense. More accurately. He's pretty strong, too. Won't take that away from him. He's got a bit of both. Bitch. <laughs> I'm really getting hammered. I was so close to killing this guy. Like, uh, fan hammer. It's gonna get drawn one once more. I shuffled my deck, right? Fan hammer. Fan hammer. That's um, west of loathing. I'm, I'm speaking uh, about the wrong game here. Let's get rid of that. Holy crap! That was frustrating. Do not like that. Don't like having random crap that I have no say in being slipped into my deck. Okay? Won't stand for it. <laughs> I might have to. I might have to stand for it. Because I'm kind of getting messed up here. <sighs> might have to camp. Uh, kind of an unexpected turn of events. My computer crashed. Computer's fault, not the game's. Uh, I rebooted. Oh, look at that. Uh, awesome. It started me in the, the room I left off in. Cool. So, I, in my mind, I'll just play through till it's almost done the battle. And then I'll start the recording back up again. And we could jump right back into things. Nope. It went way worse this time around. Uh, that guy inserted some messed up cards into my deck that were like uh, adding into my draw pile. So then I would draw those cards and it would add something else in my draw pile. I had a deck of like 20 something cards and half of them were cards that hurt me and things. So I just got ruined. I killed him and I had this guy down to very low health. But I just, I, I barely, barely lost, lost the battle there. So you've perished, but your soul remains intact. Proceed to cemetery to gain access to new cards. It drops a little gravestone marker for you. I don't know. I've never played until dying. You feel empty. You collected no new unlocks in this run. But you managed to defeat 13 enemies. Uh, took a while to do it. Defeat 13 enemies. Rebirth. Just emerge right back out of the ground again. Cemetery of the Ancients. So there's a little something, like a little end game thing that goes on here. Change crown. Yes, I would like a different crown. I don't deserve the, the nice crown. I get a dumpy little wood crown this time. Upgrade health for the price of 800. Oh, so the less gold I spend during the actual thing, the more I have to put towards some of this stuff. Acid blob throws acid potions add two acid stack to closest enemy. The fire spirit, it, it adds fire stack to people, adds three defense at the end of the turn, a def defense bot. And Bracer adds preserve defense buff at the end of turn. Ah, oh, so defense lasts between turns. Having familiars seems really awesome. Oh, dump, dump in the money. So I don't have to end a run with a thousand. I can, I can build up towards it, which is good. Hmm, that's it. So I, I can change the crown, I can upgrade my health, which this one seems like I might precisely need that amount of money. Yeah, that one I can't, you actually have to have the precise amount to afford. I like the acid blob, I'm going to drop in the money towards it. So yeah, you, can, you build up towards that one rather than affording it all at once. I'll leave the cemetery, it's really depressing, don't want to wait around there too long. This is interesting. Oh, is he just interested by the fact that I've come back again? Unlocked by collecting Soul Fragment in your ad adventures. And same thing, collecting Soul Fragment. So it's like a fire guy and a poison blob. Blob variations. 
Instead, I'm stuck with the boring old regular deck. Oh, yeah, I don't think I showed this before, actually. You get, like, a goofy identity card, so I'm Slushy the Great, age, one cycle, maker of poor choices. Green socks are his favorite clothing. Race, slime. Doesn't have a special skill, doesn't have a familiar, doesn't have an element affinity, and just has regular base health. I don't think I, I, don't think I had shown that at the beginning of, of my run. New path laid out before me. Uh, I had taken on the one boss. There's two bosses sandwiched really close together towards the end here. And there's two of those little branching path things other than the final one. I'm kind of curious what would happen in the final one. I like the game. I like the style, the the way it's presented. The the movement mechanics are really cool. The the way you have to pay attention to how the field is being affected is really cool. My one complaint is the game feels slow, especially the early game. The first 10, 15, almost 20 minutes, probably closer to 10 or 15, where you're working with that boring deck of like three damage, two defense, and then something has like 40 health. It's it's very slow to start. Uh, it does build up though, and it does it does seem interesting. It is still early access, so these are things that could be balanced out and, and ironed out in the finished product. If you guys are interested, I'll have a link down below. It's on sale in the Steam store now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.